Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso right here on SABC3. Now, when people are born blind or they lose their vision later on in life, it brings out a formidable inner strength and resilience still to make a success of their lives. That's right. And they can really use a helpful hand with the practicalities of gaining their independence and becoming employable. And League of Friends of the Blind, they have been there to assist since 1933. From their home in Grassy Park to their community and rural outreach program, the League get the sight impaired to fully engage with society and equip them to make a life. The aim of the League of Friends of the Blind is to foster independence of our children from birth and as well as our adults to ensure that they're integrated back into the community, schools or employment. We offer a range of services to the blind. So from birth till the age of six, we have a home-based um, support program where we go out to parents and assist them with a newly blinded child. Uh, from the age of three till six, they come into our center-based program where they go through a fully um, accredited uh, preschool program with a preschool teacher and a teacher's assistant as well as an occupational therapist, social worker and an orientation and mobility instructor. And then for the adults, we focus on literacy braille literacy, um, as well as ensuring that people are able to travel independently through the use of orientation and mobility, and then also facilitating the daily skills of living, how to cook, how to clean, how to ensure that they're looking presentable. Uh, we also offer computer literacy and a return to work program where we facilitate uh, the possibility of getting gainful employment. Sports and recreation are central to an all-round approach to integrating with everyday society and focusing on everything that you can still happily do without vision. My main goal, you know, um, working at LOFOB is basically to empower the lives of those who are visually impaired like myself and um, just to let them know that, you know, there is um, no limits and you, you only have limits if you set limits for yourself. As you can imagine, after going blind, I had to learn everything from scratch. For example, when I came here at the organization, I never thought I'd be able to use computers again, of which I learned how to do so. Uh, as I I'm a person who loves walking around, so I never thought I'd be able to move around independently. I would have loved to learn brain, but due to sensation, I can't. As this committed group of South Africans go about empowering, educating, securing employment and innovating, they are attracting top expertise from abroad. So um, I'm a part of the Global Information Engagement Program and it's a group of University of Michigan students that have come here to uh, League of Friends of the Blind um, to help the organization in different information problems and challenges that it's experiencing. The individuals and families that have received services from LOFO are truly appreciative of the services that we offer. Over the years, the decades that we've been able to serve blind children and adults, um, we've had only positive things um, that the parents and the families have come to report back to us on. There's a great need for the services that we do offer and one of the things that we're cognizant of is ensuring that we do not compound the effects of disability. So we offer all our services at no cost to these families and I think that takes a large burden off of those families. So I think there's really a great sense of appreciation for the work that we do do.